and I'm taking it from a 3.625 30 year fix to a 5.25 30 year fix. And my favorite part was his response. His response was, wow, sounds too good to be true. How, how, how do you get that response when you're raising someone's rate by a point and a half? Get a gander yourself. We can offer with no, with no lender fee five and a quarter on a 30 year mm -hmm. fix. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Uh, man, so far it sounds too good to be true. Any, am I missing anything? Wow, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. as always, you take good care of us. So. <laughs> yeah. Man, are you ready for today's video, boo boo? Are you ready for this? Let me ask you, bro, are you ready? Today, in this video, I'm gonna drop two valuable pieces of gold inside this, this craftfully made video. You know, I, as you know already, uh, a couple weeks ago, I dropped a live recording of me closing someone on the phone. And one of the most common comments that I received or direct messages that I received was, yo D, this was probably the absolute best thing that ever happened because you know all my sales trainers cannot do this. They can't give me a recorded call. Most of the recorded calls I, I listen to is how not to do it. So you providing a recorded call of how to do it is amazing and for you to break it down is even better. And I think what it did, what it did was just solidify you know, the genuineness here that you here on the phone and it also gives you proof that I am in the trenches with you. I do speak from a different level and that's your level. Whereas most authorities or most uh, personas or most influencers online, they're, they kind of already did that, you know what I mean? So they're a little bit on the high hierarchy, if you will, and they're talking about things that they used to do back five, 10, 15, 20, some even never, <laughs> right? And so I want to share with you in this video two valuable pieces, valuable pieces of gold. The uh, primary piece of gold is another live recording. It's another live recording of me um, doing an actual close and and the best part about it was that the prospect themselves, their primary goal of not wanting to refinance was because they had a low interest rate. This is probably the absolute best example because this person did a 30 year fix two years ago currently sits at a 3.625. I really want you to think about that, right? And and you'll notice that in this video, I took them from 3.625 to 5.25. Yeah, bruh. So about a point and a half increase, a point and a half increase, and I didn't even cover all the, all the closing costs. <laughs> and the reason why I'm so excited is because even though I took him up a point and a half on his interest rate, his response was this, and you're gonna, you're gonna hear it, is, wow, this sounds too good to be true. Crazy, right? And why I'm excited to share this with you is because, as I've mentioned in the, I think I, I just passed like 600 videos on YouTube. That's just YouTube alone, boo-boo. And what I've been preaching is that there is a, an art, there is a science to this madness. And much like the science of our body chemistry, right? Like when we get hungry, we there's this chemistry that happens within our body that gives us motive. It gives us influence to take action. And so we might skate to go eat, right? Of course, we take action, we move. And just like the body chemistry when we gotta urinate, right? Like we we move, we make moves, bro. Like I, have you ever pulled over somewhere? Like, bro, I gotta use the bathroom. That's chemistry, that's science, bro. Um, and I wanna, <laughs> I don't know why I use the urination analogy, but like I said, gold, right? So here's a piece of gold that I wanna share with you because I believe the second piece, besides the live recording of gold that I wanna share is, is the easiest way, the absolute easiest way, because this is another common question that I get, is D, what is the easiest way to make more sales? And the answer, I'm gonna share with you and then I'm gonna share with you the live recording call. The, the truth is, the absolute easiest way to become successful is to start. And what I mean by that is when you start, then you start to fail. Or when you start, then you start to capture experience. You see, these recordings, these videos, these techniques, this isn't something I read about. This is something that has been, that has been wired and programmed within my DNA because I had to hustle. Since, I, from, since a younger age, I had no choice. 
Does that make sense? So much like I said, there's a science to this closing. There's also a science to accountability. And so I believe that you hold yourself accountable if you have something on the line. So for example, in translation, what worked for me and today, today to some degree, what still works for me is, is a higher cost of living. <laughs> Sounds crazy, right? Because the whole, the whole uh, you know, mainstream suggestion is don't live beyond your means. Or, you know, don't spend more than, than you make. And I personally believe that us in sales, we're kind of like entrepreneurs. So technically, our income is going to be derived based on our production. But if you notice, most entrepreneurs, successful ones for that matter, live all beyond their means. <laughs> you know who don't live beyond their means, boo-boo? Teachers. You know who don't live beyond their means, boo-boo? You might be like, man, what about Warren Buffett? He don't live beyond, man, live beyond his means, bro. He's a billionaire, man. <laughs> like, like his monthly nut is, will fucking eclipse your annual pay, boo-boo. So what I'm getting at is, is we have to understand the context, right? So like, for example, like you could, you know, settle for that Honda Accord or you could put yourself closer to the lifestyle and the, and the, kind of the perks of what you're what you're aiming at so go get that mercedes benz bro go get that bmw go get that jaguar you know why is because when you experience it it puts you closer to to being in it and i'm not saying go out there and rack up debt what i am saying is if you go up there and rack up debt you better put your money where your mouth is bro you better get ready to play this game because when you experience that level of success, then it's the constant upkeep. Then it's the constant pressure of delivering. And some people act better under pressure. I know I do. And that's why I love pressure. That's why I love this, this game called sales. Because it's a game that I believe I figured out. And the only way that I figured it out was I made it easy. And the only way that I made it easy was because I did it constantly. I studied my craft. I figured out the science. I created a formula to closing sales. And I want to share with you that formula because you want to know the easy way to go about it. The easy way to go about it is put years and years of experience under your belt. But if you don't got that much time and you're trying to find this little shortcut to the top, you're trying to find a fast track, you're like, yo, D, <laughs> I can't wait 10 years, boo-boo. I can't wait 20 years, bro. Or D, I don't have five years to go ahead and hurry up. <laughs> right? So if that's your, if that's your um, challenge, then guess what? I got you. Just this weekend alone, you know, I got this one sale. It's called Monster Sale. Today is Friday, the 27th, I believe, of October. And today, or it might be the 26th, don't quote me on that. It's still early, just coming from the gym. But I've got this uh, Monster Sale for Halloween 2018, right? And it ends actually on Halloween. So I got this Monster Sale for these two programs. The first program, of course, called The Banker's Closer Guide. And basically, it's your it's your survival guide as a mortgage banker to close sales, to originate sales, to do inbound, outbound, and also the formula that you're gonna hear on this audio of how to do it right. And there's a, a method, there's a science of how to deliver it. And you might be like, yo, but D, why do I gotta buy the course, bro? You're giving me it all for free. No, I'm not, boo-boo. There's way more meat and bones that, that goes in this process. All I'm sharing with you are these little fun facts and tidbits. These are freestyles, boo-boo. Like, you gotta understand, inside the course, that's set, that's sat down methodical strategy right there. That That's, that's, you know what I mean? That's game plays. That's a that's a playbook. Play for play. Like, hey, this is how you do it. You do this when they do this, and you say this when they say that. It's a complete man. The only thing I could really compare it to is like that movie Bloodsport. I hope you watch that movie Bloodsport. And then that dude was teaching them how to catch goldfish and shit. Like the whole the whole uh, reason why that I love that movie was because at the very end of the fight, and the kumite, right? Like, remember when he had that shit thrown in his eyes and he's all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if you ever see Bloodsport, go watch Bloodsport after this. And uh, and he was thinking back, he's like, oh, and you're like, no, you know what I mean? Like, it's fucking the last fight, bro. Like, that's that's where all the movie came down to. And then he started thinking back and shit, and that 1980s music came back. He started thinking, like, his memories of 
of Yoshidoshi, his fucking his sensei, and it and it did like a quick flashback of all these lessons. Well, bruh, I'm Yoshidoshi, bruh. I'm I'm the sensei in that motherfucking movie, and I want you to be Jean Claude Van Damme. I want you to be in the motherfucking fight, but instead of the kumite, you're gonna be inside your sales pitch, and you're gonna be thinking like, man, you know, you're gonna be hearing all these objections, and then you're gonna be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then what you, what's going to happen is instead of thinking of all those times I was teaching you how to grab fucking goldfish in, in the pond and teaching you how to serve tea with a blindfold on, you're going to be thinking of, you know, module one, creating an automated system, module two, you know, uh, developing the right mindset to influence your support staff, to influence your manager, to influence your coworkers and your prospects. This is the science, bro. And, you know, this is the formula. And so anyway. I got a sale going on right now. Go to salesremaster.com. It's going to teach you all about it. You got to do it before Halloween, though. I mean, the sale is going to be fucking gone. The reason why I call it monster sale is because that discount's scary, bro. And the the return on investment is scary, bro. And now you got no motherfucking excuses. The very first day that I launched it out, I sent an email out to, to let, and that was yesterday. And and within within the first 12 hours, I had 10 people sign up right away. And it blows my mind how how often it is that we hold ourselves back simply because of perception. And if it took that long for people to actually invest in themselves, like it, you had to get this crazy discount just to treat yourself to, to unlock your potential, then so be it. But at the end of the day, bro, you got to be able to hold yourself accountable. And sometimes pressure holds yourself accountable. And that's why paying full retail price or paying this discount price you know, is is your prerogative, but do something about it. And so for those of you who are hesitant, now you have no excuse. You're getting it at a fucking monster sale. So go to salesremaster.com, get a glimpse of it. If you're catching this after Halloween, sorry, bro. Um, you know, you missed the opportunity. Well, well you got to watch it right when it drops. But anyway, on to the good part. And uh, in summary, the easiest way to do things is to become a master at it. The easiest way to do something is to become completely absorbed and prepared for the situation. That's it. It's the easiest way. And the only way that you can become prepared is either you do it for years and you have, um, you know, mass amount of experience of doing it over and over and over and over and over again. Or the fastest way, as opposed to investing decades, is to get a mentor to share with you what they've learned over those decades. That, that's it. That's the easiest way. You either put years under your belt or you find a mentor who's already had years under their belt and you learn the exact right way to do it. You don't try to figure out on your own. You don't try to do it the slow way. Does that make sense? So it's either side streets or fast track. Side streets or fast track. Make sense? And the only way you get a fast track is if you get your own Yoshidoshi. And I want to be your Yoshidoshi. <laughs> and you be my Frank Dukes. Anyway, um, for those of you who want watching Bloodsport, you'll be like, what the fuck is this bro talking about? Man, go watch Bloodsport, bro. It's probably the best fucking movie in my lifetime that I believe. And anyway, so going back to the second gold nugget, this live recording is going to show you how the formula is in place. And it's not a 30 minute phone call. It's just an eight minute phone call. Again, I'm taking it from a 3.625 30 year fix to a 5.25 30 year fix. And my favorite part was his response. His response was, wow, sounds too good to be true. How, how, how do you get that response when you're raising someone's rate by a point and a half? Get a gander yourself. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe this channel. Please forward the video link to your sales team if they need help also selling higher rates. If you want to learn how to sell a higher rate, if you want to learn how to sell cost so effectively and so efficiently and control the emotion and the dynamic of your sales pitch where even after you raise their fee, even after you raise their interest rate, they tell you, wow, sounds too good to be true, <laughs> then I want you to invest in yourself and pick up the formula today at salesremaster.com. I'll see you there. Bye. As I mentioned on the email, I wanted to get your input on something because I had a chance to update all the figures, archive the original file, referencing everything down to a T, looking at okay. dollar for dollar. And I, um, you know, I, I know the debts that you listed on the email had mm -hmm. the equity line of consideration, um, yep. the credit cards, but I also noticed that there was a car payment uh, of 316 with just a real small balance, like 2883. Yeah. And, yep. And I know that we're also very sensitive to, of course, the interest rate, but we're also considering 
um, uh, cash for the renovations of the property with the idea right. to sell it in three years. And so taking all those factors and, and, and you know, looking at where we stand in the market, I've done research on the property value. I do see okay. comparable sales supporting the 320. Um, okay. I see others that are going closer to 300. But mm -hmm. I, if I remember correctly, and I, and I requested for a copy of the old appraisal, even though it's just two years ago, I, I'm pretty yep. sure, I remember yours came in on the higher end of the comps at that time also. Because of yeah, we're, the our house is one of the best ones in the, in the whole area because it's, on a, um, it's rare. It's a, tr it's a fully treed lot up on a hill. And um, so it, it's definitely, and I th you know, that's one reason we went to do these renovations. It really puts it in a good spot. Um, sure. So anyway. Okay, cool. So I, I, um, you know, I, I, I did the math and I put together the information that's going to keep it the same way it is now with your taxes mm -hmm. and insurance included. That mm -hmm. stays the same. I assume you want to keep it that way. And yeah. I yeah. had a chance to get a copy of the billing statement and, uh, and see how much you currently have in your escrow balance. Mm -hmm. So when I, had it, I looked at it, not considering November's payment, which we move mm -hmm. fast, but I would imagine we'd probably be close. We'd probably be more likely to close around Thanksgiving, which mm -hmm. at that time you're going to have an escrow balance of right about 1,700. Mm -hmm. And just like last time when we pay it off, you're going to get a refund, so you're going to get that check a little bit closer towards Christmas, usually about mm -hmm. 30 days after we fund. Mm -hmm. And then I included, besides the $1,800 refund, also the payment deferral. And that mm -hmm. payment deferral happens, of course, on the mortgage. It happens yeah. on the equity line, and then also the credit cards, um, which rounds out to an additional 600 on top of. And the reason why I bring mm -hmm. that up is because for the month of, because we would, I technically, as long as we fund in November, there mm -hmm. the first payment's not not due until next year. So December is yeah. no, no mortgage payment, which mm -hmm. uh, frees up a total of about 3,700, which gives enough surge to wipe out the Wells Fargo. Oh, the yeah, car loan, you mean? Yeah. So just oh, yeah. Just I wipe that, that out. That. Yeah. Yeah. And so if that were the case, then you can technically add another $316 to the month-to-month -month savings. Yep. And what I did was I added up the total payments. So I did the mortgage, the equity line, the credit cards, and then the car note. So what leaves the account right now is a little over 2000 It's about 2060 mm -hmm. bucks. Yeah. And the idea was just to bring that down to, uh, I think the total came out to 1560 So okay. it's a huge amount of monthly savings. You're looking at about $500 per month in, in payment to payment difference. Yep. And you're still left with about 15000 Oh, I apologize. It's $14,000 um, mm -hmm. for the renovations, for whatever okay. you decided to do to the property. Now, why I bring that up is because you had mentioned, you know, you definitely want to save a, a pretty big chunk of change per month. That was the idea. Well, the biggest thing was is the cash. You know, the, the thing that motivated all this was the cash to do the, um, you, know, the you know, the updates to the house. But then, of sure. course, the payments right there along with it. So the two together is kind of like, man, if we could if we could do that, that would be awesome. Yeah, definitely. But anyway. So you'll have enough cash to do that. So there's enough mm -hmm. cash to wipe out all the debts, wrap them all into one, and mm -hmm. as I mentioned on the on the email, you, the type of income you earn because you're not just a W two employee, you're you know you're self employed, so, mm -hmm. so you have the unique feature to write off everything, and yeah. uh, you know you're looking for as much write off as possible. And actually, real mm -hmm. estate interest is your friend because you yeah right you know you right. gotta get that shelter right, and so yeah. and so I you know as I'd mentioned on the email as well because you've kept your account in good standings, payments on time, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you're, you're already entitled to our courtesy offers. Courtesy offers basically just uh, the transaction with no lender fee. And so we, okay. we do the transaction and we're giving access to, to basically our premium relationship with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, which mm -hmm. translates to better pricing what you would get on the street at retail. Okay. And then we, on top of that, we offer the lender credit. So you're getting better pricing than you would get with just some bank and as well as a lender credit of 1629 because that's how much we okay. charge for a lender fee. And okay. so that particular courtesy offer, when worked up, just to put it in perspective, you know, the market's obviously different. With this mm -hmm. loan to value, because it's a cash out and you're using mm -hmm. about 75% of the property value, you, mm -hmm. to retail, you'd be closer to five and a half. Well, to put it in perspective, 
we can offer with no with no lender fee five and a quarter on a thirty year mm -hmm. fix. So okay. you have two options. One is you can take no lender credit because you can go you can go even lower than that. You can go mm -hmm. five and one eighth though with no lender okay. credit. The problem with that is though sixteen twenty nine is a pretty big chunk of change in terms of right. like the closing costs, right? Right. And so right. when you do sell this house in three years, you're ultimately you know, you're financing, you're not paying out of pocket, so it's actually just taking about two grand away from your equity when you do sell right. the home. Whereas yeah. your five and a quarter, the payment difference is about eighteen bucks, but considering you're mm -hmm. saving five hundred anyway, yeah. and the interest is actually your friend being self employed, mm -hmm. now you're making mm -hmm. all the debt tax eligible. I think that's actually probably a happy medium. Is yeah. Just yeah. take the courtesy offer because it's yeah. wiping out uh seventeen hundred dollars in your in your closing costs. Right and you know it's giving you a surge of cash, saving you five hundred bucks, giving you fourteen k to to not have to deplete any of your assets or liquid savings, and then yeah. you can do the upgrades and enhancements to the home, and yeah. it's in perfect time to basically fund and defer the payment until next year, freeing up yeah. money and cash flow for the holidays. Yeah, awesome. Okay, uh, man. So far, it sounds too good to be true. Any, am I missing anything? No, no. If anything, I just want to run that by you and see what your thoughts were because I know that it was important based on the email of, mm -hmm. of creating some cash flow, getting the cash mm -hmm. to do the enhancements, and I mean, looking at the research on the property value, I'm pretty confident that we're going to get on the higher side of the comps. So everything yeah. plugs in. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. I mean, that that all sounds even better than I thought we could be. So. Um, uh, that that would be great because the house is in great shape. It's just the kitchen needs a, a, a bad update. Kitchen and the, the, the first floor. So that's what we were. That's what started all this. So, oh, okay. uh, are you in the midst of any started, projects we, now? No, no, okay, no. Cool. We just started. We haven't even done anything. And I don't, you know, obviously I don't want to touch any debt or anything until we knew if we could do this. Sure. Um, so um, we wouldn't do it. You know, we wouldn't do anything until we, you know, until the backside. We're not in a hurry. We just thought. Um, uh, you know, if we're going to be in here another three years, let, let's do the stuff that needs to be done anyway, and then we can enjoy it for, while we're here. <laughs> good, yeah, yeah, good move, you know? good move. Yeah, uh, it has no, to be done anyway, and so. Yeah, if you guys were in the midst of any projects, like uh, like in the midst of any construction, that that in itself, I've seen starting to create delays with appraisals. Yeah. So yep. the good news is you're not, you know, you don't have any rip drywall or any. Exposed. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> okay. No. Cool. Yeah, so yeah, yep. you're in good shape. I mean, we'll fly through processing just because everything's pretty okay. straightforward. Um, I'm not sure if you remember her. Her name's Carrie McDowell. She's yeah. my uh -huh. assistant. Yeah, she's going to send you a quick checklist of a few items that we'll need. Those items I'll just, uh, you know, I'll just need to plug into my system here and validate the yep. ability to proceed. And then okay. we'll move pretty quick. Um, okay. I'll see if we can get an appraiser out there probably by end of next weekend. And then we okay. should have everything set up and closed before you sit down for Thanksgiving dinner. Wow. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. as always, you take good care of us. So. <laughs> yeah. No worries. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad uh, that we get a chance to reconnect, and I'm looking forward to working with you again. I'll, I'll go and draw this up and send it out to you in paper. Okay. Sounds great, Daniel. Appreciate it. All right, Jen. Let me show you everything I know. A jungle slide.